statements and some great sound bites so you can sell some tickets later on down. Fair enough? All right, let's go. I know how this game's played, so let's go. Lost to these guys twice without Fletcher. How much of a difference would it make if he was out there? Well, that's a loaded question, isn't it? Your leading scorer? Uh, he's your lead, yeah, well. So you want me, uh, here's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, we didn't have Armand because he's not part of the team right now. Or he's part of the team, but he's not one of our players. So uh, I thought the most impressive thing was today they beat us nine at our place, and we came in here and uh, kept it to eight. Pretty good crowd. And uh, actually, I was kind of proud how we competed today. I thought we played our tails off at times. What did you do to, to get back in that game after their big run early? We went zone. We played two possessions of zone before we got here. Two in uh, 11 games. We never played a zone, so, uh, but we had to. My gosh. Uh, I mean, I thought, I thought Perkins was going to be immediately have to go to Springfield and just enter into the, the Hall of Fame the way he played. And uh, we just had to because of him. He's the one that made us go zone. And, when you've got a five-man that can shoot and spread people on the perimeter and you're surrounded by other perimeter players that can shoot, you're going to win a lot of ball games. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And I think probably, in all honesty, I, Nate will probably tell you this, he's probably happy as can be that we played zone today because he's getting ready to see a zone. It's a little bit different than the OSIU zone in uh, two more days or three more days.